Before you reinstall the knives in the planer, it's a good idea to give it a thorough cleaning. I removed the crank wheel and removed the guards over the chains that drive the rollers. Take this opportunity to make sure everything looks good mechanically and uh, give it a good cleaning while you're there. While I had the cover off the planer, I took the opportunity to apply a dry lubricant to each of the four posts. This enables the crank mechanism to raise and lower the cutter head much more easily. Made sure all the posts were clean and lubricated and kept cranking the cutter head up and down until things worked smoothly. Finally, I installed the covers for the chains and the crank wheel. I reinstalled the dust chute over the cutter head and secured it with the three wing nuts. Reinstalling the cover is as simple as putting it in place and securing it with the four screws. Next, I turned my attention to the feed rollers and the bed of the planer. I used a non-woven abrasive pad to remove any dirt and grime off of the planer bed. To enable the workpiece to slide smoothly through the planer, I applied a dry lubricant to the infeed and outfeed tables. If you look underneath the cutter head, you'll find two rubber rollers. Give them a good cleaning with isopropyl alcohol. The last step is to give it a trial run and see how it performs. <laughs> 